Okay guys, this is Antonio Mejorado and this tutorial is to understand a little better more about the use of functions inside lab. Okay, here you have a function named root1. This function, well, first of all, we have to clear everything. It's a it's a good habit um, before doing anything in Scilab or in any language. You you have to clear the memory. In this case, we we could be possibly using something in the past before running this program, so it's better to clear the memory. Here is the documentation about the function. I know it's a lot, uh, a lot of statements, but it's a it's a good recommendation for us to. Uh, leave the name in this case root 1 and then uh, the description this function calculates the root 1 of a quadratic equation formula and the root 1 is the one that uses the plus sign in the formula minus b plus or minus the square root of p to the square minus 4 times a times c everything divided by 2 times a our parameters are dA, dB, and dC. dA is the coefficient of x to the square, dB is the coefficient of x, and dC is the constant value. And it returns dx1, which is the root we are trying to get, the positive, the, the root with the positive sign. Okay? Uh, we have to remember we got a defined function and then a variable, in this case dx1. dx1 is important because it's going to have the resulting value. And then the name of the function, root1. And our parameters are dA, dB, and dC. So dx1 equals to minus dB, which is the first uh, term we have in the formula, plus the square root of dB to the square minus 4 times, I have a leave a space there, uh, well, it's uh, you could have without the spaces, but it's better for our reading when whenever you're trying to uh, update the function or uh, uh, check the function. So uh, 4 times dA times dC, uh, everything divided by 2 times dA. So these points are very important because we gotta uh, uh, change the priority of uh, Scilab. It has a, a hierarchy on the the way it uh, makes the operations, okay? So this is the root 1 and it's trying to get the root of the positive value in the formula. So we copy and do the same for a root 2. So here you have root 2 of a quadratic equation formula. That's the description. It's almost the same, but in this case, we're trying to get a uh, uh, root with a mi uh, minus uh, uh, sign in the formula. These are the same parameters, dA, dB, and dC. And it returns dx2, which is the, root, the second root, okay? So it's almost the same, yeah, you, as you could see, but with the minus uh, sign in the formula, everything is going to be the same. So then we're getting the values from the user. So we, we, we ask the value with an input statement, input uh, function, and then the message, enter the coefficient of x to the square, dv equals input, enter the coefficient of x, and dc equals input, enter the constant value. Once you have the values, you can use the function and use, uh, using the function we can display the, the, the value so we're going to display roots by using this as our function to display and then the message root1 equals the plus sign is very important because we want to uh, mix not only the message but the value and the value will be converted by using the string function root1 root1 da db dc so it's very important you to be careful we have one opening parentheses, two opening parentheses, three opening parentheses, we have to close with three closing parentheses on the right side, okay? And then we have the display for the root 2, and it's going to display root 2 equals plus string root 2 da db dc, okay? So we're going to run the, the program, uh, we're going to save the, the function, if you make any change, sorry. <laughs> uh, here is the console and in the console we uh, we have to enter value for coefficient f, uh, of x to the square so it's going to be 1 and then the coefficient for x is going to be 4 uh, I think it's 5 and then uh, enter the, coefficient, the constant value which is 6 so then you have two roots root 1 equals negative 2 root 2 equals negative 3 okay so 
Now I want to show you how could you do the, the same but only using one function. Uh, be careful because uh, it's a little, it's a slightly different from the using two functions. So here you have the 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 solution. Uh, we have the roots, which is the the function to get the 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 values for these two uh, roots of the quadratic equation formula. So uh, and actually, I think I gotta sorry, I I gotta I root one is the name only, and root two is the name. Uh, just getting with our standard because you gotta write only the the function name sorry roots roots this function calculates the roots of a quadratic equation formula with the formula uh, we already saw the formula is this one minus v plus minus square root uh, of v to the square minus 4 times a times c everything divided by 2 times a okay so now we have three parameters but we have two returning value so having to return more than one returning value you're going to use uh, these brackets and these brackets means that we have more than one value to return okay so we use brackets dx1 comma dx2 equals roots we which is now our function da comma db comma dc and we have to calculate dx1 and dx2 so it's almost the same we had before but instead of having two four functions we have only one function roots okay so we finish our function then we get the values from the user getting values from the user is the same thing but then because we have two values in return we gotta get the values first by using the function brackets dx1 comma dx2 equals roots da comma db comma dc and once you get dx1 and dx2 you could display it so see we don't we're not using a function anymore we're using the value but the value is returned by using the roots function okay so dx2 uh, will be returned and dx1 will be returned from the roots value so once you run the program uh, now we gotta see the console the console is asking for the coefficient of x to the square is going to be 1 the coefficient of x is 5 and the coefficient of uh, the constant value sorry it's 6 so now we have root 1 equals negative 2 root 2 equals negative 3 so it depends on the problem you have you could use two functions or you could use only one function and get different values in return okay uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial remember this tutorial is to understand better how to create the functions here you have a recommendation clear before everything then declare uh, use comments to understand what you're doing in your program after your functions you gotta get values and then display the results and you could use uh, brackets to have more than one resulting value okay I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you very much.